हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल फ्रेंड्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ फॉरन के फेलिक्स सिस्ट लुक्स ऑन एम आर आई ऑफ ब्रेन दिस कैन इज ऑफ टू ईयर्स चाइल्ड दिस इज फ्लैर सिक्वेंस एक्जल फ्लैर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल टेल यू वॉट इज पोरन के फेलिक्सिस्ट पोरन के फेलिक्सिस्ट इट इज अ वेरी रेयर डिसऑर्डर डेट अफेक्ट्स योर सेंट्रल नर्व सिस्टम इन दिस इट डेवलप्स फ्लूड फील कैविटीज लाइक दिस और सिस्ट सिस it happens before or soon after baby is born okay how it is caused it is a it is usually the result of damage from stroke or infection after birth it is more common in this what happens it will impair your child growth or development now i will show you how it looks on all the sequences one by one this is a large csf intensity area in both fronto this is frontal region this is temporal so we can say fronto temporal and it goes till parietal region so we can say this is large csf intensity area in both fronto temporo parietal region okay this is frontal region this is both temporal lobes so we can say this is appears in temporal area 2 so fronto temporo and it goes up till parietal region so we can say last csf intensity area in broad fronto temporo parietal regions we can see it is larger on right side the area is occupied more on right side it is extending up to basal ganglia which are contiguous with frontal horns you can see this is frontal horn this is basal ganglia region extending up to basal ganglia which are contiguous with the frontal horn atria and body of both lateral ventricles this is right lateral ventricle this is left lateral ventricle okay and you can see signals are surrounded uh, by flare hyper intensity this is flare hyper intensity surrounding the cyst so this hyperintense signal may represent large porencephalic cyst with surrounding glyotic white matter white matter is also involved in this cyst now i will show you this is flare sequence axial flare now i will show you axial t2 weighted how it looks on t2 sequence this is axial t2 weighted see large cystic area csf intensity areas in both fronto temporo parietal region
history of the patient is delayed milestone so it has been diagnosed with this large coronal cysts both frontal regions larger on right side these hyperentin signals in both posterior periventricular regions and centrum semiaval these are mostly immature myelination less likely must be a demyelinating foci but mostly according to age it must be immature myelination this signals in posterior paraventricular regions and this one now i will show you same thing on axial t1 this is axial t1 weighted it will impair your child growth and development because this patient is already having complain of delayed milestone same thing i will show you on diffusion weighted sequence and gradient this is diffusion weighted sequence large cystic area frontal temporo parietal area is occupied with the large csf intensity lesion same thing i will show you on gradient sequence now this is axial gri so this is how you can read coronkeopelix cyst on mri of brain hope this video will help please like share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more updates thanks for watching